how long would it take to get to Kepler 22b? Imagine you're standing on Earth, looking up at the night sky, and you wonder, what if we could travel to another planet that's similar to ours? One such planet is Kepler 22b, located about 600 light years away from us. But how long would it take to get there? To understand this, let's start with the basics. Kepler 22b is an exoplanet, meaning it's a planet outside our solar system. It orbits a star that is similar to our sun, but slightly smaller and cooler. This planet is about 2.4 times the size of Earth and takes 290 days to complete one orbit around its star. Now let's talk about the distance. 600 light years is an enormous distance. To put it into perspective, a light year is the distance light travels in one year, which is about 6 trillion miles. So 600 light years is 3.6 quadrillion miles. If we use the current fastest spacecraft, Voyager 2, as an example, it travels at about 38,000 miles per hour. Using this speed, we can calculate how long it would take to reach Kepler 22b. The calculation is straightforward. Divide the total distance by the speed of the spacecraft. Doing the math, if Voyager 2 were headed to Kepler 22b, it would take approximately 11.64 million years to get there. Yes, you heard that right. 11.64 million years. This is because even at high speeds, the vast distances in space make travel times incredibly long. But what if we could travel at the speed of light? That would be much faster, right? If we could somehow achieve the speed of light, which is about 186,000 miles per second, the journey would still take around 600 years. This is because even at such an incredible speed, the distance to Kepler 22b is so vast. So, whether we're talking about current technology or hypothetical speeds, the journey to Kepler 22b is a long one. It's a reminder of just how big and expansive our universe is and how much we still have to learn about space travel and the possibilities of exploring other planets.